To add a user in your Office 365 tenant, ensure that you are an admin. To check if you have this level of responsibility, go to admin.microsoft.com for that tenant. If you have access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center in that tenant, you are an admin. Click Users. Active Users. Add a user. Enter their first name, their last name, their display name, which will automatically be their first and last names, their username, which is what appears on their email address. This can be what they send emails from or log in with. Automatically created password will make Office 365 generate a password for you. Unchecking that gives you the ability to type in your own password. Click here to view your password and then if you want to you can do this and copy it into a password file if you're keeping tabs on your user's passwords. Require this user to change their password when they first sign in. What this means is that this that you gave them turns into an OTP password, one time password and this makes it so that they can upload a custom password once they log in for the first time. Send password in email upon completion will email whatever you put in this field and it will send this person's password to this email address or whatever you put in there. Clicking next, we assign the product licenses. Now we can either assign them a product license, this is what you've bought as a license, or you can choose to create them without the product license. Without a product license gives them access to zero apps but dependent on what your license contains, your users can have access to a certain amount of apps. You can also choose what apps the user has access to here. By example, I don't want my user to have access to Sway. I can uncheck it. Click Next. Now there's some optional settings. One of these is Roles. Now, if this person is an administrator, you can click admin center access and then choose what admin level of permission they have. Let's say they're one of the main administrators of your system. You can click global administrator and they can manage everything in your office 365 tenant. But let's say they're your help desk. You can check help desk admin and then once you click that they have access to the admin center but only the stuff that supports the help desk. If they're just a normal user, click no admin access. Profile info allows you to choose their job title, department, office, office phone, fax number, mobile phone, street address, city, state, zip or postal code, and country or region. These questions are not required, but it can be there for extra information on their profile card. Then you review your changes. So, name, email, password, send to, product licenses, name of license, apps they have access to, roles, info, finish adding, and then they're added. That's how you make a user in your Office 365 Admin Center. To delete a user in your Office 365 tenant, ensure that you are an administrator. To check if you have this level of responsibility, go to admin.microsoft.com and if you have access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center for that tenant, you are an administrator. To delete a user, go to Users, Active Users, select the user that you want to delete, Delete User, Click delete user. Their licenses will become unassigned and you won't be able to recover their data after 30 days. If you accidentally delete the wrong user, go to deleted users, check their account, restore user, choose to create a custom password or auto generate the password, click restore. 
and their account will be restored. You will need to further reassign licenses.